Hello, Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars, and another different video this time. I thought you might like to see what it's like to be a used EV dealer. It's not all glamour, it's not all eating caviar every day, I can promise you that. So it's now 20 past 10 on a Monday evening. I'm about to head out to get on the 11 pm boat that's come down from Shetland that's then going on down to Aberdeen. And I'll be catching everything tomorrow using public transport, uh, a train, a bus, a plane and then a taxi to pick up this Mitsubishi Outlander plug-in hybrid electric vehicle for a customer here on the island of Sunday, which is one of the Northern Isles here on Orkney. So I'll also bump into some familiar faces. So uh, why don't you join me on my journey sooth. See you soon. Morning from Aberdeen. So I took, so I've just come off the boat. So uh, not too bad a night. A lot of uh, talking by the people, which sort of interrupts your sleep. But uh, onwards now to catch the train. And then we go through Union Square, through these doors, that way to the train station. So um, Union Square shopping mall, as they say in the states something we don't have on Orkney. Here we are at Aberdeen train station, so uh, next stop, Netflix. So it was a short 20 minute trip from the Union Square to the airport, walked over the bridge of the tracks, very close to the uh, airport itself, had to catch a bus, not done that in years, and then uh, whilst I was waiting for the bus, saw this character laughing at this advert. <laughs> Lovely food in a new uh, revamped uh, eating area at Aberdeen Airport. Now I do love flying, I know there's a CO2 footprint, but I just love flying. And then it was a full flight, and about an hour's trip down to Birmingham, where I landed, caught a taxi which cost me more than the actual ferry, <laughs> and finally I arrived to pick up the car. So here we are in Birmingham. So uh, just picked up the Outlander, absolutely as described, and now I'm heading off to my parents for a well-earned rest. And uh, let's see who we meet on the way. So I've come back to Leicestershire, where I'm originally from, and I've happened to pop into a place called Hinkley, where I bumped into this pair. <laughs> Of course, I can't come to Leicester without meeting this lovely lady, which, believe it or not, folks, is my daughter. Yes, it's my daughter, Hello. Harriet. And she runs a fantastic Instagram account called... Bo's Kitchen, Bo's.Kitchen on Instagram. Bo's.Kitchen. Check it out. It's absolutely fantastic. So another reason for me to pop in yeah. to Leicester. <laughs> So of course, when I come down to Leicester, do I stay in a hotel? No, I stay at Hotel of Mum and Dad. Uh, Dad's still in the house. This is my mum. Hello. Whom without my crazy trips would not be possible. So big thanks, big shout out to my mum. So then it was uh, time to head off up to Tame and obviously hit the M1 and then the M6 heading north. So here I am at Tea Bay Services having a healthy salad on my lonesome as packed by my lovely mummy. So thank you mummy. I've got lots of goodies in here. It always does be a nice pack up with mum. And mum's fantastic. Um, not just any crisps but a massive packet of M&S crisps. Oh yes. Yeah. And lots of other very nice M&S goodies in my bag so thank you mum anyway tea based services um, I've got another 300 odd miles to go in this um, plug-in hybrid electric vehicle I thought he was going to hit my door then he hasn't um, so yeah easy drive and um, next stop Tame so left tea based services and as is often the case thunderous rain then it goes really dry <laughs> and then it'll start raining again this is up through the a9 through the cairngorms and uh yeah it's a nice easy drive 
lots of different scenery and weather, which is quite normal for Scotland. So slight change of plan. Um, I'm not staying in Tain tonight. Um, and I'm pressing on towards Wick to stay in a hotel I've stayed in a few times. Uh, just for tonight, because the last boat left about 7pm, it's now 8pm. Uh, which is fine, so I'll have a good night's sleep up in Wick. I've only got another 60 miles to go. And then catch the 9am boat tomorrow, so I'll have a good sleep tonight. And then back up in the morning. So yeah, it's I've driven from basically Leicestershire to the top of Scotland in this Mitsubishi Outlander. But interestingly, just for the record, obviously reset the trips. I've averaged 40.3 miles to the gallon. And I hear you, some of you saying, "Oh, 40 to the gallon! Oh, I'll get more out of my diesel." Do you really? Okay, this is a two-ton 4x4 plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. So that's pretty good, I think, 40 miles to the gallon. And of course, I've been keeping up the speed limit. I've not been doing slow driving. And going down any hills, I'll actually regen around about one, two, sometimes four miles of pure EV range just by going down some hills. So just keeping up the flow of traffic, just purely on electric, uh, on just purely on petrol. I'm not stopping to charge because it's not really necessary. Um, because it's got a range of 25 to 30 miles on electric. So just driving normally. I'm still averaging 40 to the gallon, which I think is pretty cool. So this is the A9, the east coast of Scotland, and this is a bit of road just before Helmsdale. Absolutely stunning with the sea on the right hand side. One of the interesting things I find with buying cars is that uh, occasionally the last person that leased this left his CD in the CD player. And uh, I'll be honest, I think it must be the same age as me because it's got some cracking tunes on this CD. One of which is the Monkeys! Which is on the left. So here we are. I've reached my hotel. Turn right. <laughs> my hotel for the evening is this place up here on the left. If I seem to remember rightly. No, it's not Sea Bay Hotel. Sinclair Hotel. Yeah, that's it. Turn left, then turn left. She's telling me to turn left because there's a postcode, but I know it's here because I've stayed here before. So I'm about. Uh, oh. 10 miles from the ferry so this is going to be my hotel for the evening so here we are we've arrived at the oh, what's it called Sinclair Bay Hotel just outside Wick and uh, I'm going to get some much needed sleep I'll see you tomorrow so here we go See, this is the glitzy lifestyle that I lead. Okay, so here we go. Anyway, nice big comfy beds. A double or a single? Which one shall I go for? Mm, probably the single. Anyway, hey ho. I will see you. The mirrors are never tall enough for me. I'll see you in the morning. Morning. Uh, not too bad a night's sleep. Uh, it's now quarter past seven, uh, half an hour to go to get to the ferry at Scrubster. So, um, yeah, see you there. So here we are at the port of Scrubster. Uh, the boat's due to go in half an hour. I think I've just spotted all the cars coming off the boat that got on at 6.30 this morning in Stromness, Kirkwood. Here's all the cars coming off. So, uh, 
Let's get the tickets and wait to go on. 200 yards ahead, you will reach the destination, which is on the right. Thank you, Satnav. I don't know whether Satnav's a man or a woman. I think it's uh, neither. <laughs> It's either a woman with a very deep voice or a bloke with a very feminine voice. But anyway, let's see if this happy chap here always has a dig at me about my electric cars. <clears throat> Good morning, sir. How are you? Oh, grand, thanks. Good. So I've just been to pick up my tickets and uh, just spoke to one of my customers who's sitting on the rapid. He's just come from Orkney and he's off down to Fort William for a week's holiday. So there he is sat on the rapid in his black 24 kilowatt hour leaf. It's nice to have a chat with him. This is several times he's been south. Morning. Morning, sir. Thank you. So it's down the ramp into the Hamnevo. That's the ferry that goes from Scrabster to Stromness and then Stromness to Scrabster. Not too full a trip this time. You'll see uh, trailers left and right from local carriers that are chained down because sometimes this crossing can be a little bit rough so we just follow the direction of the uh, crew there in the orange and obviously you just make sure and take care when parking up motorbikes there on the left bus in the front that's it all switched off and then we go upstairs Right, Northlink Ferries, it's about time your little tug, which carries the suitcases, was electric. That's sitting there, ticking over, rattling away as diesel engine. What's going on? Make it electric. Come on, Northlink. And here we are, back on Orkney. Next stop, home. So here we go, I arrived home. Uh, left Monday evening, back Thursday morning. I've done 708 miles, average 40 to the gallon, in a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, the Mitsubishi Outlander. So this is going to my customer on the island of Sunday. So this has just been a little insight into basically what do I do. So here I am handing the Mitsubishi over to Martin from Sunday in Orkney. He wanted a tow bar fitting as well. Now I normally have the vehicles delivered by a transport company called A and J Transport. But if I want to go south Obviously, I'll do what I've done with this Mitsubishi Outlander. I'll fly south to see my family and friends. Now, a big shout out has to go to a lovely couple called James and Kate. Now, they run an amazing YouTube channel. Just Google or look up their name, James and Kate, on YouTube. And they help eco cars out such a lot. I don't know what I'd do without them. So basically what happens if we have a customer in the southeast or I source a vehicle in the Midlands, then James or Kate will collect it for me, have it valeted, have it checked over and then arrange delivery. It saves a lot of time and energy for me to go south uh, and expense of course. So we've got lots of happy customers. Our testimonials are all genuine on our website. So because we don't have premises, we work from home. Um, then we like to pass on all those savings to you, the customer. So our basic business model is it's our costs plus £300. 
that's my profit margin on any vehicle we just want to get people into electric vehicles that is our main mission here at eco cars so all the warranties are still in place for the manufacturer if it's under three years old and of course the remaining battery warranty that most manufacturers have of around six to eight years so you the customer uh, can rest assured that should anything go wrong you have the manufacturer's support so that's a picture of kate in one of our t-shirts that's not me but thanks to james and kate and eco cars yeah.